So there are many people who say, no, I do not like salads. Why not? And they say, oh, I think because it's boring. Really? Well, let's see what we can do with these salads, shall we? Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Elegantly Raw Show. Look at these beauties we have here. So many people say, I don't know what to do with a salad. And then, I wonder, do they ever go to the farmer's market? They think that they keep making the same salad over and over, and that it's boring. But is this really what we find boring? and this, and the wealth and the plethora of all the gifts that the earth offers up today. I am going to show you how to make a turn a salad into a sensational culinary delight. So let's go, shall we? We have here on the table, we've got this beautiful lettuce, which I've just washed. And it is just the most stunning, vibrant, beautiful breath of life. I can see all the elements here and we're meant to replenish all the elements rather than replenish calories. So do you see this? This is from the outer edge of the lettuce. The way to pick lettuce, you never take from the center. These are the young ones in the center. You want to take the ones out here first. So wash it first and wash it thoroughly. And then you'd start taking them from here. And please don't yank at them. Be very mindful and caressing and really honor them. Because so many people and so many living beings have gone into giving this to us. This is something that is not just a spectacular work of art. It is also nutrients of the highest level. And so we need to also honor it thusly. So we're taking out the outer layers of the lettuce leaf here, and we're doing so in the most loving and mindful manner possibly. And then we can put this aside now because we've got some of this here, and I've got more greens as well that we're going to be using. So let me just put this lettuce aside now, and then we can move on to the other things that we have here. So what do we have here? We have the most gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the chemistry. Look at the architecture and forms and the colors here in this red bell pepper. We've got a tamarind. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. We've got tamarinds today. We're going to be showing you what to do with these fruits. And we've got also most people know this cucumber, and this is something that is now coming to season in the Western Hemisphere. So glad for that. We're going to be using these stunningly beautiful radishes of every hue and color, which we can find them in now. And then we're going to be using some baby kale. And I don't like that name. I wish we had another name for it. And some spinach. So this is what we're doing. We visit our greens. And of course, we've got the ever-loving tomato. Now, some people say, I cannot eat tomatoes. I'm allergic to them. Well, if you peel off the skin and you take out the seeds, you can definitely use them. And that's because your system is not clean enough as yet. So make sure that your system is clean and that you have enough enzymes in your body to digest them. Saying hello to Nick Barrel. Hello, Nick. Thanks for the love. And I am going to now show you what to do with these first because we've got something really special in store with this. Now, some of you probably will not have this. This is a spiralizer. And you really will need to invest in this if you want to make the most authentically pleasing, visually and tasty salads possible. So you can see that it has 
here, the blade. I don't know if you can see the blades here. Let me turn it the other way and then maybe you can see the blades. See the blades right here? And there we go. And we're going to be putting the, it could, could also be a squash, any kind of squash, or even an apple, anything here. We're going to be starting by using this now. So let me show you first what to do with this. And let's put some of this over here so we make some space here. So we're putting the spiralizer here. Make sure when you put the spiralizer, this part at the front away from the blade is over a dish. Always make sure that it's over a dish so it can catch whatever it is that you're making. So I need to now just move things away from this so that we can spiralize in here. I'm going to keep the greens together on this side right here. I hope you can see that. I'm bringing this up to you. So we're going to keep the greens together. So we've got three different kinds of greens here with the spinach, the baby kale, and the lettuce. And now the side that's empty I'm putting here so it can catch this. Now, in order to open this up, of course, I'm going to be using a ceramic knife. Never use any other knife because this does not change the energy of the food. And you want to make sure that you're getting all of the beautiful elements of this without changing it. So I'm putting this now in here. So watch me here. I'm going to bring this up to you first so you can see it a little closer. So I'm putting it in here. Do you see how the center is going to be going into this little knob here? And then the other center is going to be going here. So see the knob, putting it here, and then putting it here. So make sure the center is what's lined up here and here. So once you've got that lined up, you can press it in. Then you can bring this in now. And then you can start spiralizing. See, this is how... You spiralize and you can change whichever one you want or do not want as well. Let me just move this a little bit to the center. There we go. So can you see it's coming out here? So I'm going to show you what I'm getting right here. Can you see this? Isn't this stunning? Isn't this beautiful? It looks almost like pasta, doesn't it? So that's what we're going to be putting here. Let's get some more of this, shall we? And on a very hot, humid summer day, this salad is just so welcome because it's going to refresh you on every level. So let's get some more out of here. See what I'm talking about? Look at this beauty. And I'm putting it over here of this section of the salad. Some more of this. And here we go again. Now we've gotten some of the green part, and I like having the green. Some people peel it beforehand. I don't understand why, because I love having all the different colors in there. And to me, that's what makes it really so special as well. So let's do this. Now, in the winter, I do the same salad, but I do it with uh, squash, with the zucchini, usually, or courgette. In some places, it's courgette instead. So I've got enough of this. I don't need more, so I'm going to put this away. I'm actually going to put this into the dressing. So I'm going to put this away now. And once I put... So what you also need to know is that this actually sticks to the counter, so it doesn't move while you're doing it. So... You sometimes have to put your hand here to pull it up. So just be aware of that. So that is the spiralizer. Now I'm going to put this away and I'm going to continue making this salad, which really is going to be very different from what you're used to. So now what I'm bringing forward now is the blender that I'm using. Now you can use any of the big Blenders, or you can use a small blenders like this. The reason why I'm using this one today is because people often ask me if they can use this blender, uh, the Nutribullet. For certain things, yes, and for this, most definitely. So just open it up here like this. And then I'm going to make 
the dressing first. Now, I know I have all the things here that I need to be cutting up for the salad, but I want to make the dressing because this is the part which really most people delight in. And this is what makes the salad so sensational. So this is what was left over from what, the, what I just spiralized before. So using again the ceramic knife, I'm just going to cut this a little bit and put it into the dressing. Nothing ever goes to waste in a raw food vegan kitchen. should never go to waste because we need to honor all the people and all the living beings that have given all of these treasures to us. So that goes in there. Now, what am I going to do with this, the tamarind? Just watch carefully. So you're going to open the tamarind. Now listen to the sound. Can you hear that? So that's how you open it. It's actually a lot of fun. And when I was a child, I remember playing with it a lot. Children love being around it. So if you have children, bring them into the kitchen and they will do this. Hopefully they won't eat the tamarind right away and will let you have some to make your salad dressing. But I happen to love, love, love eating this. It's one of my favorite fruits, actually. So you see how when I open it, it reveals what we call the flesh in there. And I wish we had, you know, I'd love to have a, a different vocabulary for plant-based foods because I don't want to be calling things flesh and skin and the bones and whatnot. Now, see, I'm taking these off. Can you see right here? I have to remove this. So I don't want this in the, in the dressing. And even when, I, when you're eating it just like this, it's important to take this off, although sometimes your mouth can help you. So you're going to take this off. Then you're going to take the seeds out and separate the seeds from the flesh. And then, so you're going to do that. Sometimes the seeds are small and sometimes they are large. So what I'm going, what I did, I did this already. What you're going to do is then take the flesh and you're going to put it into a motor and pestle. So just the flesh without the seeds goes in there. And you're going to pound it. Now, sometimes this one is a bit dry. If it's not all that dry, if it's still moist, you don't need to put any liquids in there. I like to put a little bit of freshly squeezed orange juice in it and really pound it like that until I get this. This is what you end up getting when you pound it. So you see? It's liquid now, and here is your tamarind paste. And it's the most intoxicating smell, in my opinion. So I'm going to put that into the dressing, the tamarind paste. Now, most people would put lemon juice. I do have lemons that I've juiced to put in there. Or you can put the tamarind paste in lieu of lemon juice or lime. That's your tart. You want to put, you know, the tamarinds are both sweet and tart at the same time so some more than others so that's what's going in there now the next thing i'm putting in there if you have a penchant for this you can use nama shoyu so nama shoyu is actually the a japanese product the word nama means raw and it's like tamari or shoyu but raw so you can put that in there if you don't it's optional you don't have to put it is that if you want it to be on the saltier side. And now here's one of my favorite spices, that, and everything is organic, of course. This is cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is very important. I do not use black pepper because black pepper irritates the lining of the digestive system. And we don't want to do anything for the digestive system that will irritate it anymore. So cayenne pepper is very healing to the body. And especially if you have, um, you're bleeding, it's excellent for people who are bleeding too much. Cinnamon must not go without the cinnamon. Really important if you have had any cholesterol problems or hypertension problems or anything of the sort, really important to have cinnamon. Here we have a garlic clove. Again, optional. I happen to like having them. Some people prefer to have two. The reason why I'm not doing more than that is simply because I do not want to over stimulate the sauce with things that I don't need in there. So now I'm going to also put some pickled shiso leaves in there. And this again is from Japan. And this is going to give it a really unique flavor that is really hard to find outside of Japan. It's going to just make it 
just really rise to such an incredible level of taste and of deep nutrition as well. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in there. And it gives it a little fishy taste. It's like uh, the Thai using fish stock or things like, or you no, know, anything with fish in it. We don't use fish because we are plant-based and we don't wanna destroy the life forms in the ocean. And now here is the lemon juice that I made before. Now, because I have the tamarind in there, I don't want to put too much of this, but I still need to put enough so that it will be liquid for when it blends. So this is the lemon juice that I'm putting in there now. Hopefully I don't have to put more. I think not. If so, I'll put some more cucumbers actually. So now, what is it that I've left out? Oh, on purpose I've done that. This is sesame paste. This is going to take your salad dressing up to such an phenomenal level. It's going to give you the creaminess and the texture of a really well-defined salad dressing. So I've, if uh, let me show you what it looks like. So here it is. And of course, it's organic and raw and already made. So I'm putting that into the dressing now. How? I'm putting, it's very oily by the way, because of course this is where you're gonna get some of your oils is from this dressing. By the way, just so you know, sesame seeds has more calcium than any other food source. So for those of you who've been doing dairy and saying, but I need calcium or my doctor says I need it. And not only that, but it has more than just the calcium. It has all the other minerals that it, you need in order to digest the calcium. So I strongly suggest this is this as one of the most incredible dressing there is. Now, I didn't put any onion in there because I'm going to put the onion on the salad at the end. Now, this by itself would be phenomenal just by itself. But I have here what is my own beautiful addition that most people never think of. And this is what brings the salad to the most incredible taste. This is saffron. I hope you can see this because they're very tiny. They're extremely expensive and it's very hard to get it. So can you see the saffron there? And the scent and the taste and is just incredible. Do not put too much. Be careful never to overdo with saffron. There's a reason why it only comes in a small bottle like, and a big bottle like this, but only a small amount for a lot of money. And the reason is because it is so precious and you really do not need a lot of it at, at all. This one is from Afghanistan and they usually come from um, Spain or the Middle East or Morocco, Israel, all the Middle Eastern countries. This particular one is from Afghanistan and it's organic. So that is the saffron and that is usually the missing ingredient that most people never think of putting in that I do. And this recipe, of course, will be on my recipe app, which I hope to finish with in about a month or so. So bring this, put this on. Now let's make the dressing. So the reason why I'm doing the dressing beforehand is because I knew that the tamarind would stick to the to up here and not go down here. So now while I'm finishing up the salad, it will have enough time to go down here and I'll do another blend at the very end. And that's what you have to remember when you're using that. So here's what we have for our salad thus far. So it's all mostly greens, correct? So now I'm going to be putting in this beautiful tomato. And as I said before, if you're allergic and you say, oh, I can't have that. Oh, yes, you can. You just need to take off the skin and the seeds out of it and then you'll be able to enjoy it and it's so luscious and so juicy this one is so beautifully ripened and they're just coming into season now so i want to make sure that we give them their time to shine so there's that tomato right there and now we're going to bring in the white radish make sure that when you're cutting radish, you cut in, don't cut it in large amounts because it can be too strong for some people. So cut it very fine. Sorry about that noise. I'll make it a little 
less noisy here. So I could have left it just like this, but I'm going to cut it even finer so that you really don't taste it. The whole idea for the salad to be that delicious is to have an explosion of all the different tastes in your mouth with every bite. That's what make bring the salad to the sensational level. It's how you make it. You've got to be very mindful when you're making it. Make sure that you're fully present for your food. Now I'm going to cut it again. So if you notice, I was cutting it lengthwise according to the energy lines of the body of the food. Always cut according to the energy lines when possible. And now I'm going to put this in here. And this is the white one. I'm going to put a little bit of it over here. And now I'm going to do the others. And if you notice, by the way, I do not take off the skin because just beneath the skin, we have most of the nutrients. So please try to keep the skin on. Just wash it thoroughly when you get it, and then you'll be able to do so. So radishes. Really, I, I'm very surprised that in the United States, we don't see radishes used much. In many countries, radishes are one of the mainstay of a salad. And I'm hoping that we can change things in the United States by bringing the beautiful radish into the salad. Uh, my sister actually makes a salad just with the, rad with the radishes being the main thing, and everything else is just there to season it, and it is absolutely delicious. In fact, I have it in the refrigerator right now marinating because I have visitors today, and I want to make sure that I've got some really special things for my visitor. So here we go. I am now chopping this up even smaller. I prefer to have it chopped smaller for people who are new to radishes. If you're not new to radishes, then just pile it on. And if you love radishes and you're used to them, then just go right ahead, please. Don't even bother to do it smaller then. So I'm doing the white one again so that we use all of it. And I am going to show you in a moment what it looks like making sure that this is small enough and please know that we need to need to be eating all of the different tastes so what makes the salad so tasty is all the different tastes coming together as one and pretty much uniting almost as one a little bit of cucumber again here we go and i'm going to show you right now what it's looking like see and we're going to put in now so we've got the purple one in we've got the white one in and now let's do the pink one as many colors of the rainbows possible eat your rainbows everyone eat your rainbows you know everything we see in the universe between rainbows and trees and flowers it's all part of us we are part and parcel of it with that web of life it connects us all so we need to, to eat that way as well to increase our own light in the universe we're beacons of light here we're meant to be beacons of light but when we eat food that's dull and has been pasteurized or processed in any way what we're doing is dulling our own appetite and also our our own senses so we need to be mindful that we need to stay as clean and as fresh and as on pasteurized as possible. You don't want to have a pasteurized digestive system, do you? Then don't eat pasteurized foods. So I could keep going with that, but I won't because I've got this beautiful, I almost really am sad to cut this. I think I would love to keep this actually. And here we go. I have now cut this one open. Look at all of the beauty. Oh my God, the scent. It's so incredible so i'm going to cut this lengthwise and we're going to put this in there lengthwise you can chop it small if you prefer but you don't have to so i'm going to just put this on the sides here and you can actually decorate it however you want in your bowl or in your plate or anything that any kind of receptacle that you're using for this do it the way that really appeals to you but use your creativity and your own creative juices to do this so i'm going to put a little bit more right here and maybe 
over here as well, right, right here. So see, now we've got many more colors here in the salad, alive and vibrant and full of life and energy, which will now go into your body and give you all that vibrant life and energy. So if you look, you'll see here that the some of the tamarind, most of the tamarind is now dissolved down here. So we can blend this one more time just to make sure that we get all of that in there. Next will be this stunning onion. Look at this onion. Look at all the archaeology, the art, the architecture and the forms and the shapes and the colors in this beauty. So we're going to be putting some of this in the salad as well. Again, using only a ceramic knife to cut it. And you can also cut this up small if you'd like, or you can keep it large. I'm just going to put it large here just because I want to show you some of the things that I'd like to do. So I'm going to cut this one up small, one we can cut small. Now, this in itself is an incredibly refreshing and tantalizing salad for summer. You're going to find that when you're eating this salad, you're going to be feeling cooler from the heat and the humidity, but also you will emerge from your eating refreshed, vitalized, feeling renewed with a ton of energy and your mood will change. It will absolutely change your mood. So I've put the onions on there. Now, the only thing that I have left to put on there is this. These are sprouted pumpkin seeds. Why? Because this will is absolutely amazing for the weight for the summers. I use this in winter a lot too, but this is great to, for parasites. A lot of people are taking parasites in because they're not cleaning things well or washing things well. And so make sure that this is it's also very high in protein, by the way, and so highly nutritious. So I'm going to sprinkle some and you want it sprouted so it's easier to digest. Try never to eat your seeds or nuts on sprouted. Try to only eat them sprouted. So I'm going to sprinkle some on here. And now you've got a full meal here. For anybody who says, where's the protein? You've got all your protein here now. So let's take the dressing, shall we? And turn this off first. Flip it upside down. We're going to get this for the dressing, to pour the dressing in here. And I'm just going to make sure that this goes down a little bit before I open it up. And here we go now. Dressing. Can you see it? So this is what the dressing looks like. This is going to bring such a spectacular taste to the salad that you are not going to believe that it's really this incredible. You have to taste it to believe it. So how much of the dressing you put on the salad is totally up to you. If you're about to eat it right away, then you put as much as you want. But if you're not going to eat it right away, then I suggest that you pour it into a container where you can keep it in your refrigerator until you're ready to eat it. Now, I happen to like to have the dressing chilled as well. And when you chill it, what you'll find is that it almost increases the flavor profile in here. And not just that, but it also is very refreshing. And some people actually like to eat it just like this without even the salad. When I make it, there are people who say, oh, forget about the salad. I just want to have it right now. So this is your way to having a salad a day because I'm on a campaign right now to get people to eat 
at least one salad a day because it will make an enormous difference to your mental health, your well-being, your physical health, and your energies. All the energies of the earth are here. All the elements are here for us. And this is exactly what I'm offering today for us to make sure that we use all these beautiful gifts of the earth to render something that we know not only will we enjoy and our bodies will be able to digest, but that our health will improve to the nth degree. Hi, Deborah Baker. Nice to see you here. Um, so, so Cal says, good morning. Good morning to you too. Hi, Tom. I didn't realize you were here, Tom. Lovely to see you. So glad that you were here. And I didn't have time to go on and do, I know, I didn't have time to go on and do all of the comments today, but please forgive me. And next week, please come back on when we are going to take another walk and another stroll into the land of stunning salads and beauty and truth and grace that we all are. We're magnificent creatures and we're meant to be part of the living. And this is for the living. This is alive. This is scrumptious. This is delicious. But most of all, this is what we're meant to be eating. Put live foods in a live body, and what you'll get is a plethora of life and energy that is bursting forth to serve us all. So until next week, this is Dorit saying, Thank you for coming by. I'm sorry I didn't get to your comments today. I would have loved to, but I please enjoy the salad and give me your feedback. So come back during the week and here on Jane on Chain News Network and put your feedback of what you thought about this and spread the word so we get more people to eat one salad a day. Thank you all for coming today, everyone. And I so look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.